Hi guys, so we're finally going to get started on this box project. Um, what I've done here, you'll see this is just a square cigar box and it does have a sliding lid on it. I um, It's still somewhat sticky. I did put spray paint on the inside and then because it is a slider, it does have these little grooves in there where the lid goes in. It didn't want to slide, so I ended up taking my Dremel tool and just kind of sanding that out in there. So now it moves back and forth pretty nice. And what we're going to start off doing is putting some Master's Touch modeling paste uh, through a stencil. And this is a Finnebear stencil. And I'm just going to use the same stencil on the whole box. And I want it to show on here. And I'll have to, after I've done it, I'll have to slide the lid off and kind of clean it up a little bit. <clears throat> but we're just going to start to get the modeling paste on there. And I'm just going to use the silicone brush that I have, which is also from Art Basics. And that's Finnebear as well. Well, maybe. And you guys are probably going to hear some background noise throughout the recording of these videos just to let you know because we have fur babies and we're taking care of a little piglet so... If you do hear something, don't be alarmed. That's just everyday life at my house. And you'll see I don't go one particular way when I do this. I just try to get it on there first and get the coverage that I'm looking for. And then I'll go back and kind of smooth it out some. But I like all the texture too because when you go to put your paint on there and then your finished product on like if you do waxes or highlights or whatever all that texture shows through <clears throat> and I'm just pulling a little bit back off now Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with that, so... Alright, I'm going to go wash the stencil and then we'll clean this up a little bit. Okay, so I got my stencil washed off, and what I'm going to do now is first just go around the edges, and I just use my finger just to clean these edges off. Okay. 
Okay, so now what I did was I kind of covered this hole here that you use to pull your finger or to slide the box out. So just gonna get down in there and get that because I have to use it to pull this out. Uh, let's see, there we go. And now I'm just going to clean this up a little bit more. And then I'm going to set this aside to dry. Okay, and then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, let's see, oh, I ended up, yeah, that happens sometimes, I'm kind of messy, but that's okay, it's just added texture and I'm not looking for perfect anyway which is good because I don't get it most of the time. Let me move this over so that it's completely out of the way now. Okay. So I'm gonna place this on here. And then I'm just going to do the same thing. I actually think I'm just going to switch to my regular palette knife. This is not quite doing what I would like. There we go. Much better. I'm just going to kind of go back over it, just add a little extra texture. There we go, that's nice. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to wash the stencil again. I wash it between each application just to get the cleanest imprint that you can get. I mean, you don't absolutely have to if you don't want to. Uh, I just get a better result when I do that. So I'm going to finish getting this on all of the sides, the other three sides of the box, and we will be back to put some embellishments on. Okay, so I have texture paste on all of the sides of my box here. Um, I switched it up. I put it going the other way on two of the sides. So what I'm going to do now is just end this video and let this air dry. 
I could use the heat tool, but I've never really had very good results with that. Um, even when I hold it back away, is it always ends up making my modeling paste or whatever uh, I'm trying to dry, you know, crackle paste. It makes it bubble, so I'm just going to let it air dry, and then we'll be back, and we'll put our base coat of acrylic paint on the box before we start adding the embellishments, and that's just going to help it to have a more even coat so that it's not so hard to get underneath and in all the nooks and crannies. So I will see you guys in the next video.